we continue with the book of Zechariah. We're up to the seventh chapter. The first six chapter featured a lot of the visions, wild visions of Zechariah. What were those things? He didn't know. The angel tried to explain to them. We tried to explain. And today we begin the seventh chapter. So it's the fourth year of the King Darius. So about the year 517, 520, 519, 518, 517, and 520 was the first year before the common era of Darius. So there, it's in the midst of the building of the Beit HaMikdash. It's not completely built yet, but it's on its way. It's the fourth day of the month of Kislev. And God came and spoke to Yermiah, uh, to Zechariah, when Bethel, Sharezer, Regem, Melech, and his men came to, uh, came to ask a question of God. They wanted to ask the priests, talked in the last couple of chapters about the elevation in the sense of the priests, when halachic material back in the book of Haggai in here were also asked to the, were asked to the priests and to the prophets. And what is their question? Shall I weep and shall I abstain from eating during the fifth month as I've been doing in all of these Years now. What is the fifth month? So, right, Nisan, Er, Sivan, Tammuz, Av. What day comes in Av? Tisha B'Av, the day of the destruction of the Beit Hamikdash. The Jews have been fasting, but now the Beit Hamikdash is in the midst of being rebuilt. Do we need to continue fasting or not? And this question can be understood in many levels. So if these people are from Babel and not from Israel, saying maybe the people in Israel don't have to fast anymore, but do we have to fast? The Beit HaMikdash is not fully built, but it's on its way. To, can, we, can we already understand that since it's on its way, we don't have to fast? Different ways of understanding this question. And thus it became, uh, at least to some, relevant, especially in the aftermath of 1967, when the Jews took back Yerushalayim. When we had control, though we gave it to the uh, Waqif, the army gave it right to the, the Jordanians could control, but we had officially control of the uh, Harabite, the Temple Mount. And so it became a sort of a relevant chapter. Do we have to continue with these fast days? So what is the response? It's a very prophetic response because it's not yes or no. We're in verse four. Pasuk da'al vahid var Adonai tzvot elai lemor. Emor al kol amar et zvel kol anim lemor. Kitsam tem v'safod b'chamishi v'shmi v'zeh shivim shana. So tell the priests, right? Tell all the people of the land. When you fasted, when you cried in the fifth month and the seventh month, it's not clear exactly what the seventh month, usually fast the seventh month is Yom HaKippurim. Would it make sense that it's Yom HaKippurim? It's probably referring to the fast of Gedalia ben Achikam, Gedalia who was uh, instituted as the governor of whatever remained of Judea following the destruction of the Beit HaMikdash in the year 586. And he was killed by Yishmael, as we read in the book of Yirmiyahu, was a plot that was in some ways devised by the Ammonite king. And uh, Yishmael, who was Mezerah Hamlucha, was part of the Davidic family, killed uh, Gedalia, and that was the end of any Jewish autonomy or any Jewish sort of governance, at least for about 70 years in the land of Israel. So God says, presumably referring to that fast. Do you, did I fast on Tisha B'av? Did I fast on Sob Gedalia? When you eat and you drink, you eat and you drink. Right? I don't eat and drink. Excuse me. You're asking me after fast. Now listen to the message that I told all the prophets, the earlier prophets during the time the first Beit HaMikdash. I told you Yeshaya, and I told you Yermio, and I told you Hoshea, and Amos, and Micha. All these prophets that I told, these messages from all over the land, from the Negev to the Shvela, wherever the Jewish people were. And what were those messages? Vayihitvar Adonai Zachar Yalei Mor. We're in verse 9, Ko'amar Adonai Tzvot Lei Mor. Mishpat Emet, Shvotu, V'chesed V'rachamim Asu Ishetachim. What's that message? I tell you about fasting. I tell you abstain from eating. I tell you to be an ascetic. What did I tell you to do? Be just, be kind, be merciful to each other. Don't defraud, don't take advantage of the widow and the stranger and the orphan and the poor. Don't plot against each other. 
Vaimanu Lahakshiv. But of course, we know it for Slavin. We know this already from our study. You refuse to listen. Vaynu Katev So Roret was name Hichbidu Mishmoa. You turned your back to me. Your ear became deaf. The libam samu shamir mishmoat at Torah via tat very much shalach and ice for brucho biad and nevim arishonim vay ketzef gadol me itad and ice You harden your hearts. You were you you were one hundred percent against the instruction against the Torah that God had sent through the prophets, and thus great destruction, wrath issued from God. Vay tasher karavlo shameyu. So I called and you didn't listen. So God says, let them call and I won't listen. Right? You can call out to me. You can mourn. You can abstain from eating. I don't care about that. I care about actions. I care about the reforming of your behavior, your treatment of each other, the civilization, the society must be just. The Esar Arem Al Kol Agoyim Asher Lo Yidaum I dispersed you amongst all those nations that you didn't know. And the land was, less, was left desolate without you. Right? Uh, that you caused, or they, meaning your ancestors, caused this Eretz Chemda, this beautiful land, to become desolate. Which is sort of interesting. They're asking, should we remain, quote unquote, desolate? Should we not eat on these days? to show that we are mourning, to show that we are so sad about the destruction of these cities. And God's saying, the desolation was done as a punishment to you. The lack of eating, if you want to put it as such, the emptiness. And the main thing in this chapter, it's quite clear, is that God is not interested in fasting, is what God says. Maybe on Yom Kippur you're supposed to fast. That's a biblical obligation. But God's saying here, I don't really care about fasting. What I care about is the changing of behavior. I'm reminded of a statement that's made in the Gemara in Masechet Rosh Hashanah. It talks about the 13 Midot, the Yud Gimel Midot Rachamim. And it says in the Gemara that any time that you have a problem, the same way Moshe, God revealed it to Moshe at Sinai. And it says, if uh, it says God, uh, it sounds like, uh, the Gemara says, it sounds like it's um, Apikarsus at Kvira. It sounds like it's against uh, our general um, religious tradition, because the Gemara says God put a talus over his head. We don't believe in God in the body, and told Moshe, anytime we have terrible, uh, terrible plagues or horrors, or you will need to repent, uh, I say, do this, do what I'm about to tell you. And he reveals to Moshe, Hashem Hashem, Kalarachapayim, Rav Chesed Biemet, da 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 right? The Yudgim Omido, which we know in the Torah, the book of Shemot, I believe it's in chapter 32. We saw them in different versions in Yonah and, and other books, different prophets who use them in different varieties. But it's pointed out by many of the commentaries of the Gemara there. It doesn't say say this, it says do this. It doesn't matter if you say, you know, be merciful. We ask God, God, you're merciful. God, you're kind. God, you're slow to anger. God, you're compassionate. If you want God to be those things to you, you have to be those things. You want to know if you want to fast? Well, stop making, quote unquote, the other people fast. Stop making it so difficult for the poor and the hungry and the widow and the orphan to have food and to have an equitable society. And so here we see, like I said, to me, a great answer, a prophetic answer to a question. The answer is not yes. The answer is not no. The answer is you want to no longer be mourning for the destruction of the Beit HaMikdash, for the destruction of Jerusalem, for the desolation of this land. What you need to do is show compassion. Build an equitable, kind, and just society. And if you do that, there will be no reason to fast. We don't get a direct answer here. Uh, this, uh, this story this question will continue in the next chapter where we will see a direct answer that's given, finally, fairly direct, back to those who ask the question.